it sounds like most of what you do is is more consultative and facilitative than kind of providing instruction. Is that accurate? Yes and no. I mean, I am able to provide instruction and I I hate that because I can't make somebody understand anything, mm. but I can expose them to mm. different ideas and and things that they might not have thought of yet. I can help them mm. make connections right. um, yeah. like the the uh, the show uh, connections, if you're familiar. Oh, right, right. It, it, James, yeah, Burke. yeah. James Burke. Yeah. Now it's been re redone. Oh, really? Right. Interesting. Yeah. It's updated. So it's phenomenal. Nice. Uh, I, once again, it's it's a huge go to for uh, critical thinking. Yeah. yeah. And and that's the thing. I I guess my if I had to say I want something for the kids, it would be I want them to know that it's their choice. And mm. what we provide is choice rather than compulsion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they want to learn, I worked for NASA for six years. Mm. So if, if they want to know what it's like to work for NASA, I can do that. Right. I can show them all the programs that we, we were, I was working with and the, cause I was the educational coordinator and distributor for all of Canada for NASA oh, for all their educational materials. Mm -hmm. So that gave me access to a ton of people yeah. and a ton of resources at NASA. And also just being able to help kids fine tune what they're doing. Okay. Mm. So you want, I had one girl come to me and say, I want to be a mechanical engineer. And, mm. and then I said, well, what does that mean? There are mm -hmm. a million different types of engineering and right, right. mechanical engineering, di zillion different places. You know, what's the purpose? She and she liked the the thinking, mm. the critical thinking, the understanding of how things worked together, how right. the creative process was, the scientific process in there. And so helping her find the courses that are already out there. Mm. Yeah. Um which I don't need to replicate because somebody yeah. else who's much more qualified than I am, I'm not, a, I don't know how to play the violin. I can't teach you how to play the violin, yeah. but I can help you find the best dang violin player or teacher in yeah. the area or where you are. So it's not much different than, you know, when you look at a, a school curriculum, mm -hmm. they're all providing the same things. It's just different. Right. Right, right, right. Um, because right. everything that they have to teach in the school comes from real life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're we're just the way I look at it is we're deconstructing school, mm. right, right, <laughs> and providing those real life experiences again. Yeah, allowing value from cooking, from horseback riding, from you know mm -hmm. whatever it is the kids want to do. And nice, one nice. place cannot lo cannot provide all of that for every different individual student, right, but we can right. because we use the resources in our community, their communities online, because now, of course, we have access to pretty much anything. Right, right, um, right. Which yeah. is its own hazards, but yes. <laughs> uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, but, but that also, you know, uh, makes what people call digital literacy being something that is going to be inherent to what you do as well is is helping and making sure that they're accessing resources that are appropriate and 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 exactly you know if something alarming comes up then you have to you know deal with it and, and the critical thinking of how to determine where the information is coming from whether it's legitimate and accurate or not right mm -hmm. questioning mm -hmm. those things like is you know you can pretty much find anything you want Mm -hmm. On any side of an argument, right? You can find support for. Yep. Absolutely. So how how do you really know what's true and false mm -hmm. anymore? Mm -hmm. Because if you can back up with documentation everything that you can argue, it's it's just that thinking and a choice. Right. 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 So valuing that logic and critical thinking skills of keep diving, 
keep mm-hmm. going down mm-hmm. that rabbit hole until you find what is the closest thing to truth that you can. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and having that sort of conversation, um, yeah. because, you know, acknowledging, yeah, you can find every side of the argument. So what, what criteria are you using to judge? What, you know, what disqualifies something, what qualifies something, what makes something authoritative? Exactly. It's a really interesting process. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.